Once again, we're asked for the main idea of the text, so let's just dive into the text and just kind of get the most basic version of it as possible. Let's take a look. The recovery of a 1,000-year-old Chinese shipwreck in the Java Sea near present-day Indonesia has yielded a treasure trove of artifacts, including thousands of small ceramic bowls. So, treasure trove, artifacts, bowls. Seems good. Notice I'm not, I'm not going to try to memorize that it's 1,000 years old. I don't care that it's Chinese. I don't care where the Java Sea is. Doesn't matter. Those kind of details are not going to be what comes up. Just focus on the overall, like, all right, it's about the bowls. Um, using a portable x-ray fluorescence analyzer tool, don't know what that is, don't care. Lisa Niziolek and her team, don't know who they are, don't care, uh, were able to detect the chemical composition of these bowls without damaging them. Great. By comparing the chemical signatures of the bowls with those of the materials still at old Chinese kiln sites, Niziolek and her team can pinpoint which Chinese kilns likely produced the ceramic bowls. So look, a lot of sciencey technical stuff in there. What's my dumb summary? Uh, they can analyze the bowls. Let's see if we need more than that. A. So what's the man of the text? Because of a new technology, researchers can locate and recover more shipwrecks than they could, could in the past. This is about the wrong main character. The main character of the passage, we said it early, was the bowls. Okay? The whole time they're talking about the bowls. Are they talking about the shipwrecks? No. The shipwreck is a side character. It's the bowls that are the main character. B. Researchers have been able to identify the location of a number of Chinese kilns in operation a thousand years ago. Again, main character's wrong. It's not about the kilns. It's about the bowls. If, it's, if we wanted the location of something, it's the location of the bowls, where they were made. Not where the kilns themselves are, but where the, the bowls are when they started. C. With the help of a special tool, researchers have determined the likely origin of bowls recovered from a shipwreck. Yeah, I noticed the special tool was some x-ray machine. I, don't, I didn't care about that when I was reading it. I knew that they weren't going to be like, okay, you got to remember the specific name of the x-ray machine and, and the fluorescence or whatever it's called. I knew it was going to matter. If, if it came up again, I could just go look, go look back. Don't try to memorize those kind of complicated, scientific-y sounding things. That's not what it's about. You know what a bowl is, and you know what it means to measure how old something is. That's the simple stuff that's going to really matter for these questions. So this seems right. It does talk about the origin of the bowls, and, and they can pinpoint it. So let's just take a look at D, see if that's any better. Before the invention of portable x-ray fluorescence, researchers needed to take a small piece out of an artifact to analyze its components. Uh, I don't know, right? I mean, does it talk about what happened before? No, it, it talks about them using it, but it doesn't say like they used it because the old way was bad. The old way doesn't really come up at all. So maybe this is true. Maybe by saying that um, they can do it without damaging them, they're implying that in the past they did need to damage it. But that's an implication. That's a suggestion, right? Now, that sometimes is what an SAT question is about, but they're going to ask that. They're going to maybe rephrase the question to be which of the following is uh, most strongly implied or suggested by the information in the passage. That's not the question here. They want the main idea. So do we really think the main idea of this passage is going to be like buried in two or three layers of implication that we need to unravel in order to understand? No. What did we say originally without much thinking the passage was about? The bowls. Choice C is about the bowls. Choice D is about the method that they used in the past before they even wrote this passage. So that's way too far removed. Stick to the simplest thing. It's probably going to be right. So there you go. Keep it, keep it clean. Uh, keep it simple. And you'll probably see much more easily without getting overwhelmed what the right answer is going to be.